One of the concerns among experienced interventionalists and angiographers is that robot, with robotic guidance, you give up tactile sensation. And this is something that I find very interesting and uh, has got me to thinking. What causes tactile sensation? Well, tactile sensation is caused by feeling something drag along an artery on the inside of the body. So it could be that tactile sensation may not be that good, number one. And I think, I think some of that contributes to some of the pathologic findings that have been seen in the animal work. Um, and it may be that um, a lot of tactile sensation is actually visual, what we see on a fluoroscope coming back. So we're feeling something with our hand, but we're also seeing a wire buckle. We're seeing a catheter get shaped uh, and deformed. And so in using the robotic catheter, one of the things I found is that a lot of that visual feedback actually is still there uh, when using the robotic catheter. When you meet resistance, when the catheter meets resistance, when the wire needs to be advanced or redirected, when you need to change the shape, all that's coming from visual feedback. So in short, I think a lot of what we attribute tactile feedback is a combination of tactile and visual. And I think tactile feedback itself may not always be as good as we think it is.